Okay, <clears throat> this last summer I was trying to ramp up for the Creedmoor Cup, uh, which I would have had to have loaded load about 500 rounds for the competition. Um, and I was practicing uh, through July and August and September. So I was loading a lot and shooting as much as I could. Uh, and my brass um, herd was about 800 PMCs that had been in service for several years. Up until this point, I hadn't had any ruptured cases, um, just a few split necks, and I would throw them away when they split. Um, in the course of ramping up for the competition, I ruptured, I don't know, three or four cases, and I started getting scared that when I went to uh, the competition that I was going to be ruptured in cases. So I did some research to find out how to inspect some brass and find out um, how to cull the herd. I, I didn't have um, enough brass uh, any a significant lot enough to uh, load 500 rounds for the competition, let alone do all the practicing. So I did some YouTube and I uh, searches and I asked around with the older guys at the clubs. And uh, here's what I found. Number one is the brass will develop a bright line where it's about to rupture. Uh, I'm going to show you that now. You can see the ruptured case there. And that one right behind it, you can see a bright line almost exactly at the right height, but I'm going to start over here at this end. This back end, if I can get the light right, you can clearly see a line um, just up from the base. Uh, and when you grab these things, you'll be able to see them immediately. Uh, this one here in the front, a little bit closer, um, you can see it there. There it goes. You can see them both pretty well there. Moving down the line, I just use a flashlight in my living room. This one has a bright line that's higher. Um, these two that, uh, next to the ruptured case, you can clearly see them there. And then down even further. Uh, the thing that is noticeable about the bright line is it's never complete, a complete circle, an even circle. I've never seen one. They always uh, go around like a stitching on a baseball. The other thing that I learned is... Um, after brass has been sized and trimmed, you can tell the older brass by the thickness of the neck. This one here stands out uh, uh, very much so. Um, that is an older brass, I would call that out of the herd. And then this one also. You can see this one compared to this one. Uh, this is a newer brass that hasn't been sized. I, I'm thinking what happens is the more times the brass is serviced, the thinner it gets, the thinner it gets, the thinner it gets, and that's one way to tell. Um, here's another example right here. So I was able to call out of 800, I probably called 100, 100 to 125 through uh, looking for bright lines and looking at the necks. And I also look for necks, uh, nicks in the neck to indicate a possible split coming up. One last look, we'll go from the other side. 